Hi, I'm Alemi from Yayo Botanica. Welcome back. So great to see you all. Thank you for coming back and sharing us with others. Remember, we're www.yeyeo and we're a spiritual and wellness supplier, which is why I do videos about all things spiritual. And I'm Alemi. I want to shout out, shout out, shout out. <laughs> All my people from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Woohoo! Thank you for joining us and sharing us with others. Mm, welcome. Today, I'm going to talk about flies because they're one of those insects we all know and we're always curious about them or trying to get rid of them. So let's get started on learning more about the mystical meanings of flies. So this is dragon's blood sage. It is white sage or any sage dipped in dragon's blood resin. That's why it's red, dragon's blood resin is red. This is fantastic for removing negative energy, evil eye, curses, cleaning your space, and money drawing. Try it. Flies are a flying insect that everyone has seen at least once. They're all over the world. They come in all different sizes. Some make noise. Some don't, some buzz, we hear them, some we don't, some are big, some are small. But at the end of the day, I don't know about you, but flies are a nuisance. <laughs> Unless you're a fly collector. So I gave some thought to just, you know, interesting things, because you all know I like to talk about interesting things and definitely kind of peel the onion from the regular stuff, right? So today we're going to talk about some of the positive and some of the negative connotations behind flies. And so maybe they're messengers for you like they're messengers for many of us. So flies, we associate them with being a pest. That's the first thing. I don't care where you are. People associate flies. They're pests. They're buzzing. They're around poop, things that are decaying, maggots all of this kind of stuff that we look at as possibly being really negative. But I have a sweet thing for you. I've actually got two sweet things for you today about flies. And one of them is going to blow your mind. Flies, oftentimes, they are a warning. We're not talking about if you just see them on the sidewalk or see them with some garbage and things like that. We're talking about when you see flies, oftentimes, let's say in just this random place, right? You, you open your closet and there are a whole bunch of flies in there. Or you go in your house and there are flies like corralled in an area. That's usually a message for something. Uh, if it's in the winter as an example and you see these big black flies, usually not a good sign <laughs> because those things are not normally things that you see all the time. Seeing one fly here or there, it's not really cause to really get a lot of your attention unless this fly seems to be following someone or it's staying in a particular place and it's not buzzing around. Um, or if you see one and then you start to see multiple, usually those are things to kind of pay attention to what's going on. Again, we're talking about from a spiritual perspective. This is not a scientific video. We're really about spiritual cues to help you to empower yourself to, to, to look at the environment around you and see what those cues are. The flies based on their size, as I mentioned before. Is it a gnat? Little small guy, right? Big black flies, smaller black flies, ones that make noise, ones that don't make noise. Buzzing flies are usually flies to really pay attention to. It means you need, may need to clear the space. It could be that there's some kind of dark work um, affecting the space and or the person. It could be that there is work just already here, not just, uh, not just coming. Usually you'll see one or two flies if it's just small things. But if you see a lot of them or one day you saw none and then the next day you see a whole bunch of them, these are signs that you need to clear the space. 
that you need to pay attention to what's going on, maybe even doing some candle work for yourself to clear negative energy. And so one of the things that we sell to clear negative energy here is dragon's blood sage. For people who are into sage or wanting to do things that are light, we're one, we're one of the botanicas that brought out dragon's blood sage into the botanica world and still selling it fantastic we have it in all different sizes this is something to keep in your home to use for this purpose so the navajo tribe believes that here's a sweet thing pew, 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 right the navajo tribe believe that when you see flies especially in the different ways that i mentioned before it can be that the ancestors are using flies as messengers to give you some kind of message and or they're coming to visit you through flies they're very serishas that work with flies also another sweet thing one being baba luaye for people who are in traditional african practices saint lazarus in addition to the orisha aje aje so there are a lot of different energies that use flies as messengers and of as of blessing um, to bless people or bless situations. When we see gnats as an example, there's a call for flexibility and being light, right? They're small, they move around, they don't really perch. You just kind of see them moving around a lot. Again, flexibility, growth, transformation, having a sharp eye, spiritual vision. Flies are definitely uh, connected to that. From a negative perspective, as I said earlier, dark work. Big or small, big black flies can be for dark energies. Blockage, if you see them also in stagnant places, as we talked about. Gossip, right? All that is can be about gossip or people talking about the, the person. Evil eye, oftentimes if a person's having a lot of evil eye, they can have um, a lot of flies in a particular area that continuously, continuously, they can't get rid of them, things like that. Uh, from a positive perspective, we talked about just in review, messengers, bringing abundance, movement, productivity, messages from the ancestors. So keep that in mind. Comment below if you've got any juicy tidbits about flies or any other insects that you'd like me to do a video on because we really want to focus on the, the big heavy hitters, the ones that we all are curious about, the ones that we know. There's a message here. And if you want to hear my take, definitely comment below. And see you next time. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe.